Hey there! Welcome to Taipito's video design series. Today we will talk about how to add a logo onto your video in four different and easy ways. Adding logos in videos helps customers identify and recall your brand. The logo can be used in creative ways along with the main content, and Taipito can help you do it with ease. We will break this tutorial down into four parts. Part 1 will talk about how to place a logo throughout the video. Part 2 will be about how to add a logo as part of an engaging intro to your video. Followed by Part 3, how to showcase a logo with branded lower thirds templates. And then over to Part 4, how to add a logo as part of a clear call to action at the end of the video. Let's start with Part 1, how to place a logo throughout the video. Before adding a logo on your video, you should try to ensure two critical design aspects are taken care of. One. PNG Logo A logo file with a transparent background can be subtly placed on your video without causing major distractions. Also, the image quality of a PNG logo isn't lost when compressed and decompressed. 2. Brand Colors and Fonts Note down the color codes and fonts used by your brand. You can use these colors and fonts with your logo templates and text. This helps the audience with brand recognition. Now, let me walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to add a logo so that it shows throughout the video duration. Log on to typito.com. If you don't have an existing account, you can sign up for free with the link in the description. Click the New Project button on the top right corner. You will see a wide collection of video formats to choose from. They are categorized by the platform you want to publish on and the aspect ratios recommended by each platform. Choose a format that best fits your needs. As I'm working on a YouTube video, I chose the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Upload your video onto Typito. Click Continue. This opens up the Typito project view. Time to upload your logo. Go to the Images tab on the left side menu and click the plus button. Search through your system files and select the logo file in the PNG format as discussed before. Once it is uploaded, I click on the image thumbnail. The logo pops up on the timeline as an overlay on your video. You can then click on the logo and resize it to your liking. The logo should not be too distracting that it takes attention away from the video, neither should it be too small that it goes unnoticed. This looks like the perfect size. I then place the logo at the top right corner. Let me also go ahead and decrease the opacity to 60. This looks good. Since we are placing the logo throughout the video, we increase the duration of the logo overlay. Click the logo you've added and increase the duration by moving the left handle towards the extreme left side of the project timeline. The same with the right side as well. The two handles on the timeline depicts an active area and it indicates the duration of the overlay in the video. And you're done! Now give the video a quick preview and click export. It really is that easy. That leads us to part two. How to add a logo as part of an engaging intro to your video. The first five seconds of a video is crucial, so it is important to make an impact. If you're using Typito, you'll find a variety of animated templates to choose from. The initial steps of the process remain the same, so I'm going to skip right through them. Now that you've arrived at the project, let's head over to the Text tab on the left side. There are four different categories of ready-to-use templates to choose from titles, social media, lower thirds, and branded. For this project, I'll choose titles and pick this particular template, which has an existing space for a logo. To add a logo to this template, go to Images and click on the plus icon to upload your logo in its PNG format. Click on the thumbnail. This automatically adds the logo onto the intro template. I don't quite like the way this template looks, so I'll delete it and look for another one that would fit better. I scroll down and pick this template that catches my eye. I go ahead and click on it, and it appears on the video as an overlay. To add the logo, I go back to the Images tab and click on the logo thumbnail. It also appears on the timeline. The next step is to resize both the text as well as the logo. Place it in the center, and also make sure the duration of both the logo and text are the same. To jazz it up a bit, you can add animations to the logo. Let's have the logo swivel in horizontally and stay on the screen for a few seconds. And then choose the Out animation as None. 
To make the intro brand compliant, I'll change the colors in the text template to the ones that we follow at Typito using the brand colors option here. When you preview and like the way it looks, click export. A great intro for your video is now ready. Moving on to part three, how to showcase a logo with branded lower thirds templates. For this part of the tutorial, I will use an interview video. A lower third in a video like that can be used to show two text fields, a title and a designation to give your audience more information about someone on screen. In the text tab, I click on the lower thirds. These lower third templates can be customized with a color or font that's brand compliant. I choose this one. This enables me to add the brand logo, the name, and designation of the person being interviewed. I then position the template at the bottom left corner of my video. Once the name and designation of the person are typed in, make sure the template is brand compliant. Let's quickly watch the video to look at the placement of the lower third template. If it looks good, go ahead and click export. Baked and ready. Last but not least, let's talk about how to add a logo in the call to action at the end of the video. and gives you an opportunity to build trust with potential customers. To create a project, the same steps apply as shown before. Open up typeito.com, choose a video format and upload your video. Here, I will take an example of a video for a nonprofit wanting to raise funds for a campaign. While we wait for the video to upload, we can use the time to find a stunning outro template to show the call to action. Let's go to Typito's template gallery and search for outro templates. Scroll through the options to find something that catches your eye. I think the nonprofit outro logo inspired by Charity Water would look great in the video. Click on it to open up the template showcase page. You can preview the template animation on this page. Looks good, right? To use this template in projects, click on the Save button. Now, let's go back to our project and refresh. The template will show up in the Saved menu under the Text tab. Now, change the existing text to something more suited for my video. To add a logo to the template, select the template you just edited and then click on the Logo Placeholder. The Images tab will automatically open. Click on the thumbnail of your logo and it will place itself on the template. Align it right at the center of the screen and resize it accordingly. A clear call to action with your logo will help you differentiate from your competitors as well. Give your video a quick preview. If you like how it looks, click export. That's how you add a logo to your videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Try out Typeito the next time you need to add logos to your videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for actionable tips to design professional looking videos on your own.